When a stream of radioactive particles enters living tissue, it may damage molecules such as enzymes and structural molecules that are vital to the workings of a cell. The skin cells can die and this is what causes radiation burns. When so many cells die, the working of internal organs are hampered and this is the cause of radiation sickness. Somatic damage may be immediately lethal, it can kill over a period of time, or may be slight enough to be repaired by the body, depending upon the extent of the damage. Effects of mild radiation may not appear for years. For example, leukemia rates increase after periods of about 20 years. Genetic damage occurs to our generative cells that can lead to cancers or genetic defects passed on to our offspring as birth defects. Because of its relatively high charge and mass, an alpha particle creates a wide swath of damage. Alpha particles cause more damage than other particles. Lighter particles, such as beta particles and gamma rays, cause relatively little damage to cells when compared to alpha particles. Because they do not interact as strongly with tissue, their energy does not dissipate quickly, and they can therefore penetrate into much deeper layers of tissue or pass right through it. Exposure to radiation is measured in terms of the amount of energy carried by the radioactive particles which can be transferred to living tissue. A rad is a radiation absorbed dose and is the standard unit used to describe the amount of energy transferred from a stream of radioactive particles to living tissue. It is equal to 0 0.01 joules of energy absorbed by one kilogram of tissue. Another unit is the gray with a symbol GY and a dose of one gray is one joule per kilogram. Therefore, 100 rads is equal to one gray. Different forms of radiation, however, affect tissue in different ways. The basic unit of measurement of a dose of radiation received by living human tissue is in terms of REMS, which is the rad equivalent for humans. This simply takes into account the actual effect of radiation in addition to the dose received. A REM is given by a simple equation. The effective dose, which is in units of REMS, is equal to the dose in RADs times a quality factor. The REM unit takes into account both the energy of the radiation and its relative effects on human tissue. For example, alpha particles have a quality factor of 20, which is much more dangerous than X-rays with a quality factor of 1. A sievert with the units of SV is the SI units for a REM and is given by the dose in grays multiplied by the quality factor. The gray is also an SI unit, but without the quality factor. 